go to themes and just install it as any usual WordPress theme. So add a new one, upload a theme and choose the file. So my file is here in the desktop. So the converter will convert it and you'll download a zip. So it's easy to recognize because you have a responsive muse before it. And so choose it and install. Great, so this has been installed successfully, so time to activate it. And let's visit the site. Okay, so now you see how you get the menu and you get the effects. Great. So you get the home page. And now it's time to get the other pages. And first, let's go to Pages. Remember, we had Home, Single, Page, Search, and Category. So Page, you can find it here. So let's go into our sample page. And here's where you start editing. As you see, you can do everything in WordPress and you write everything here, every single thing. So we've added some Latin text here, but I mean, you can delete it, do anything that you want. And it's called sample page. And then now let's go to find our post, our single post, just called hello world. So here, same thing. You edit your content here. Okay, let's say, I'm gonna click that and let's update it. Okay, so you can write as many posts as you want, as many pages as you want, and you just name them. So now you should go to the menu, which is here in appearance, and you go to the menu. So here, this is when you can start customizing your menu. And for example, okay, it's so the first element, let's call this blog. Okay, and to the blog we're going to add, we're going to add the post. So let's add to the menu and let's add it here. And it's a sub item, so now let's add another page as another sub item, for example. So we're going to make it just gonna write it put it here okay so let's save the menu and preview okay so see how the menu has changed before we didn't have the sub menus but now we do have them the hello world and the sample page you can you know if you know how to use WordPress you can customize it as it as you know as you want and did you see I edited the post and I wrote here hi there if you see this blank space between the picture and the menu, don't worry about it, it's normal. It will disappear once you log out from WordPress. Okay, so back to here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another, another page. Okay, so I'm going to add a new page. And just call it sample page 2. This is just for you to see how the the search engine works so hi guys this is responsive news welcome to our welcome to our news to wordpress template converter so i'm going to publish this okay so back to our template I'm going to refresh it and I'm going to search for sample page 2. Enter. There you go. So you actually get sample page because it has the same letters and the same words and sample page 2. Now what about categories? So let's see how it works. So let's create another category. 
and let's write just responsive. And we add a new one. Okay, great. So let's go back to the post. And let's create another post. It says, hi everyone. And let's say it's responsive category. So let's publish this. Well, sorry, I should have written something. Sorry for not writing anything. Update. And I'm going to change the other post, the category. Let's edit this. No, sorry, I'm back to the same one. So let's go back and go to this and let's change the category. Let's change and let's put it to responsive. Update. Okay. So let's see if this works. Okay, so let's go back to here. So here in the sidebar, you can see recent pause, hi everyone, and hello world. Categories responsive. So let's click on it and see if they both appear. Exactly. Hi everyone and hello world. So this is as easy as you see. Thank you guys for watching.